give it up for my boy Jay Chandler. If y'all having fun tonight, let me hear you say yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I like to hear, damn it. I'm glad to be here because I was supposed to be at a family reunion, but I couldn't go. Actually, I could. I just wasn't allowed. <laughs> Any of y'all got that one uncle come to the family reunion fucked up every year? You say some shit to just ruin it for everybody? Yeah, that's me like a motherfucker. <laughs> That's me. I knew last year they, they'd say, no, nah, just fix your plate and be gone. <laughs> Here's what it is, man. Let me explain my side of the story. I got a little niece. I can't stand this bitch. I swear <laughs> to, I can't stand that little bitch. I swear to God I can't. First of all, she's disrespectful to her elders. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Fuck them kids. She disrespectful to her elders, and then she spoil you. She throw tantrums and shit like Lil' Kim at Biggie funeral and shit. I ain't for all that. Her mama just got a nice house out Prospect, you know, so she act a little bougie and talk down to her cousins and shit. Nah, that ain't funny. You don't do that. I be wanting to tell her, look, little motherfucker, your mama's on Section 8. That's how y'all got that house. <laughs> and had she not been bumping coochies with the lady down there at the hood office, y'all still be on the waiting list. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't. <laughs> but I had it in my mind. This little motherfucker run up on me this year. She's going to feel the heat. Soon as I pulled up, here she come. Uncle Jay, my daddy in college. When he graduated? In 89 months. Bitch, your daddy in jail. Then my sister covers her ears up and say, don't listen to your uncle. Your daddy got a full scholarship to Kentucky State. Yeah, Kentucky State Penitentiary. <laughs> What'd he say? <laughs> yep, up in Lex. Everybody's mad at me. You scarred that baby. No, I didn't. I saved her from embarrassment. Where did she go to school with that stupid shit? My daddy in college. And some other little kid said, no, he ain't. He's snitching ass in jail with mine. Yeah. I'm glad y'all like me. Because I'm not a comedian. For real. I know y'all looking at my shit. Yeah, I'm a, I, I drive railroads, trains and shit for a living. That's what I do. Why do you think I'm wearing this hat? I drive trains for a living. Sight? No, I don't. I go first. Two, three niggas after me is the train. And who's ever willing to be last in sloppy line, that's the caboose. <laughs> I don't make these rules, I just follow them. I go first. I'm glad y'all like me for real, because I'm not a comedian, I'm a hater. <laughs> for real, I'm a hater. You know what I hate? Bro, this gender identity shit, man, it, it, it's gone too far. Too far. Just the other day, my next door neighbor's Rottweiler ran up on me like this. Oh. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> I 
said, did this motherfucker just do a curtsy? For real, man, them aim. Them non binaries, boy, they aim. You can't even buy a candy bar no more. Nigga, I went in the store to get me three packs of Rillos, a case of Modelo, and a Hershey bar. I walk up to the counter. I'm, you know, I see the brown label and shit, but it say they them. That's what I thought. Little redneck, little redneck cashier, you know, I'm like, hey, Bo Cephas. Where the Hershey bars at? He said, those are it. I said, they say they there. He said, yeah. The non-binary people made a big old stink about it. Had to change the name from Hershey to they them. <laughs> oh, man, that was mad at me for that joke. That was mad at me, but I feel like this. In honor of Black History Month, let me break something down to y'all. Have any of you heard of the three-fifths compromise? Right, right. So y'all know where I'm going with this? I can't count, right. I can't count one person as two people and call them they, them. Well, y'all always count my people as the lowest fraction of a goddamn person. I'm sorry, I'm just not going to do it. I ain't. Don't I get crickets and shit. Y'all scared? <laughs> the fuck, nigga? I'm local. I can't get canceled. <laughs> I got a bunch of clock in the morning. I ain't worried about no executives, <laughs> but the one at my motherfucking job. The one that gave me this vest. Another thing I hate, when people walk up at me, walk up on me at the job and say, Jay, I heard you a comedian tell me a joke. I'm like, man, fuck you. I mean, I don't know any jokes. And the ones that I knew, do know are just nasty and disgusting. You wouldn't like them, but I'm going to tell you anyway. This dude was raw dogging a prostitute. <laughs> he said, this is the best pussy I ever had. Damn, it's super wet. Would you drink a lot of water? She said, nah, every now and then I just peel the scabs back and let the pus run. <laughs> yeah, see? In honor of Black History Month, man, it ended too soon because I was fucking white bitches left and right. Yeah, white, black history, my own fuck, nothing but white bitches. You want to stick it to the man, you got to stick it in this woman. <laughs> now, but before I go, though, man, I got to give a shout out to my cousin, Anton. Today is birthday. Y'all give a round of applause to my cousin, Anton. He's gay. Yeah, I got gay people in my family. Like, you got pedophiles and crackheads in yours, motherfucker. <laughs> but we all here having a good time. That's my guy, though. I love him. You know, he, he, loves, you know, he a little sweetie pie, but he got hands like rockets. One night we was at a comedy show. Cuz walked in, dressed up like a female, you know, because that's just what he do. So as he's walking by, dude said, look at that bitch ass faggot. Before dude could get faggot out of his mouth, cuz them banging, pop, pop, knocked him out. And then sucked his dick while he was passed out on the ground. I said, Nick, I'm so glad I'm your cuz. I don't want none of that. Hey, y'all, my name is Jay Chandler. Thank you for the love and the laughs. Peace.